Hello, it's Alina from Exclamate Mastery here. Today we're going to talk about wizard macros. Yes, that is a technical term that Exactware has come up with to describe these type of macros. They're lists of line items that you add in Sketch according to trade. They will actually morph into different line items depending on which room you put these wizard macros in. So let's go take a look at how this works. You can actually set up your own and there's prepackaged ones in Sketch as well. So we'll take a look at both of those in today's Tuesday Tech Tip. So here we are in an estimate. You can see I'm in sketch. There we are at the main tab at the top of the screen. You can see I'm in the sketch area of the estimate. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select a room and then go find these wizard macros. The top of your screen, you've got a little tab there called options. And under options, you're gonna find macros. Looks like a cassette tape. And you can drop down the list there to see all the macros that you have available to you. Now, these regular macros here are just normal everyday macros that I've built myself. They're just lists of line items and it doesn't matter what room I'm in, it's gonna add the same exact line items every time. However, if we go to our macro list, and up here near the search, I want you to go ahead and type SKT in your search field. The SKT macros are pre-built by Exactware as wizard macros, meaning that they will change depending on what room type they are placed in. So I first have to have a room selected, like I do here. I've got the living room selected. So now I'm going to add the electrical macro. Just going to highlight it, left click OK. And there you can see it added some green little marks, markings here. You've got uh, two circles here and it's added those all by itself, all on its own. Let me pull up my item list here and you can see that in the living room we now have the light fixture. We've got two of those and we've got, uh, looks like, eight boxes and outlets, you've got two switches, you've got rough in um, wiring, and this is all pertaining to Exactware's determination of what code requires for electrical items, you know, how many distances between each outlet and all of that is all predetermined in this wizard. So if I go to the master bath this time, go up to options, go to macros, and now I have used electrical SKT, so it's on the list pretty quickly here for me. These are the recently used macros. I'm going to click on that there, and you can see in the master, it gave us a fan. It gave us a GFI outlet because it's near a water source. So that's not things that I told the program. The program knows that. These are not lists of line items that are just static. They are lists of line items that are dynamic to the room they are placed in. Also for the kitchen, we could go in here and go to options, go to macros, and go find the plumbing macro uh, here, and it will pertain just to the kitchen. So you've got a rough-in kitchen sink, you've got your garbage disposer, uh, disposal, and your appliance water line. So it knows for the fridge that you'll need to hook up the fridge to the water. And you can actually move these little icons around if that bothers you. It, my personality is kind of perfectionist, so when things are stacked up like you just saw, it uh, bugs me. I like to put things where they belong. So you can actually take these icons and drag them, although they really don't matter at the end of the day. They're just icons, but you can move those plumbing macros around. Just to kind of drive this home as to why it's doing what it's doing and where it's getting that information on the specific type of room and how that is controlled, I'm going to go ahead and delete out the electrical macro from our master bath here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that plumbing because it's an easier demonstration. So we're going to highlight the master, then put the plumbing. By the way, you have to highlight a one room here, guys, in order to do this. You can't be outside the sketch or have something else highlighted. You have to highlight a specific room. All right, so I went ahead and highlighted the master, and let's see what I got. Is it a half bath, full bath, three quarter? Looks like we've got the tub shower combo, so that tells me that's a full bath. You've got your toilet and your sink, of course, and that's a pretty awesome. Now, what if I had a three quarters bath here? for my master. I'm going to delete everything off. Click on the master, go to its properties. And this, guys, just to drive this home, this is where it's pulling the type of room from in the program. So right now I've got full bath highlighted. I could make it a one and a half, meaning it has a standalone shower, a standalone tub, a jetted tub or something like that. Let's change it to three quarter bath here. 
go back to the master and add the plumbing and now you can see there is no tub fiberglass tub included that has been removed because of the room type so whenever you go to name a room you'll notice that Xactimate likes to autofill or pre-fill the room name for you. I let it do that because what it does is in the properties in the background, it's actually setting up the room type for you. If you force it or make a different name, like if I put in here Alina's room, it may not take on the properties it, um, because it was already set up, it probably did in this instance. But if you're naming things, um, like if I added another bath and I called it I don't know, lizard lounge or something weird that it doesn't know what that room is, you will have to, as the user, go in and tell it, hey, you know what, actually this is a large one and a half bath here, and uh, that's what type of room it would be. And then when you add your macro, it'll add the one and a half bath items here to that room. So that is where it's keyed from. So my point is, whenever you start to name a room, let it go ahead and autofill with its predetermined room name because what it's going to do is actually affect the room type automatically. If you're naming your rooms in a specific way that you need to, just remember to go back in there and change the room type if you're going to be using these SKT macros, these wizard macros. You need to go in as a user and change the type of room that it is so that it can fully fill out the uh, wizard macro correctly. Going back to the wizard macros, we can create our own by going to the macro list there and going to add. When the add macro screen comes up, it usually has a line item list here. But what you can do is click something like electrical, if that's the kind of wizard macro you want to create, and it will ask you all the questions, the width between the outlets, the base height of the outlets, how far are they from the floor, how many GFs, GFIs do you want in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your laundry. It goes in depth under what kind of light fixtures you want, all of that. And you can set up maybe a high-end wizard macro and maybe a typical residential home wizard macro. That way when you're out there and you're trying to add these uh, line items, it'll be specific to the grade of the home even if you wanted to create these in a specific way. So you can do that with your construction. You can frame your walls. You can do all kinds of fun things here with these wizard macros. But Xactimate only comes with four pre-programmed wizard macros, and those are the four you see here on my screen. And those work pretty well for almost any situation. I just wanted to let you know that if you ever need to make changes or make your own, you can do that here by uh, selecting the macro list and either add or editing. So that is wizard macros and how they work. I think that's a pretty cool option. It's fun just to play around with just to see what your options are. Even if you're not going to use this every day, know that it's there because whenever you have a fire loss or a large loss, they're very useful in order to um, replace electrical or HVAC or what, what have you. Um, know that this is there because it does come in handy on some of those large loss jobs. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this topic, please press the like button below. Also subscribe. That's worth to me than a Bitcoin these days. Your subscription means a lot to my channel. So subscribing allows you also to have my newest and best videos in your feed. Every week I release a new video, so you'll receive that there if you hit the subscribe button. Also, check out our website at www.xm8mastery.com. You'll learn all about what I do in training contractors how to use Xactimate. I hope everyone has a really great week this week, and I will see you next Tuesday.